Hey everybody. Hi. So we're in Indiana this week and we're staying in the Potato Creek State Park Campground just south of South Bend, Indiana. And we're really looking forward to exploring South Bend and Elk Elkhart this week. Yeah, we haven't gotten out yet, but we will. Beautiful campsite we've got here. Sandy found it online, made the reservation. You gotta love Google Earth. Uh, I mean, we checked everything out. We have trees, but we were able to get that information from them too. And the only oddity I got going on right at the moment is, for some reason in my mind, I wanna always say Potato Creek Steak Park. I don't know. <laughs> you got yeah. you know, potatoes and steak. <laughs> so, so if I further on call this the Potato Creek Steak Park, Park. <laughs> because I don't have a brain. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Hi, I'm Sandy. And I'm Ed. And this is General, our totally awesome water dog. We used to live on the Outer Banks of North Carolina, but one day we found both of ourselves unemployed. So we decided to take a chance. We sold everything, bought a trailer, and left to explore America. We're learning as we go along, but we still make mistakes. But we get a lot of things right too. So come join us as we learn to RV full time, explore America, and share in our exciting journey of discovery. Our, our next, next adventure, adventure is just, just over, over the, the hills. hills. First thing on our list of things to do when we got to South Bend was to get the oil changed in the truck because we were overdue and it's been beeping at us for a while. So we chose to go to a Walmart Auto Center and it was a very quick and cheap alternative. Um, they got us right in and everything went smoothly and our truck was very happy afterwards. Here's a few pictures of our campground. It's very pretty, got some wonderful trees and flowers in the meadows, and it's just beautiful. Today we are visiting the RV Motorhome Hall of Fame. in beautiful Elkhart, Indiana. So our first stop at the uh, Motorhome RV Hall of Fame, we, we see the Eagle One <laughs> Motorhome sitting outside, open for everybody to view. Pretty cool. For the Philadelphia Eagles, to take their Super Bowl 52 tour. They won the Super Bowl in 50, the 52nd Super Bowl. This is awesome. Yeah, it is. Slides is in, so can't see all that well. But cool.
And this is America's first motor home. <laughs> Nineteen thirty nine Schult Nomad, one of Indiana's first steel frame mobile homes. Uh -huh. With wood paneling. Oh my gosh, look at that stove. Wood paneling, my foot, this is this is plywood. Uh -huh. It is, it's finished plywood. Wowie baby. Complete with a furnace. This is a little retro camper. I think it's new. It looks new. But it's still cute. Pretty cool. This is a 124th scale model RV manufacturing plant. This looks pretty cool. Start with the frame, then do the floor, then the carpet and linoleum, then the cabinets, then the walls. Then the roof, electrical, roof decking, roof rubber. Over here for windows and slide outs. Doors and drawers. Appliances, furniture, and final finish and quality inspection, of course. Awesome. Really old teardrop. Nineteen seventy four GMC Motor Home. Kitchen, dining couch. This is a 1937 Hayes motor home. That's a lot of counter space. Uh -huh. 1937 Hunt House Car. Wow, the kitchen's right up here by the driver. Oh my goodness, this is so tiny. Look at that toilet. Okay, the door is open to the bathroom. So that's why you can't get to the dinette and the couch right now. But wow, this is so cute. 1954 Shasta Travel Trailer. Oh, it's got a hammock for the upper bunk. It's not 
looking like this one has a bathroom. In 69 chassis mount truck camper. some innovation. Definitely for a single person. Tiny, tiny. Look at this one. This is so awesome. The Tennessee Traveler. 1931 Model AA Ford house car. This is so awesome. <laughs> This thing folds down to a little box, tiny little box. Pretty cool. This looks like the long, long trailer on with Lucille Ball. <laughs> it's got real furniture in here. Look at that sewing machine. Look at the fridge. Lots 
lots of cabinet space. Ooh, wall oven. I built this just like a real house. We made some corn on the cob following a recipe that we sent, found for doing it the southern version, and it's putting uh, a bunch of milk and butter in with the boiling water when you boil the corn on the cob and wow that was so awesome it def definitely did pick up the creaminess um, from the water so definitely recommended y'all got to try that we visited the Studebaker National Museum in South Bend and that was pretty awesome um, the Studebaker Corporation actually gifted a bunch of uh, antique vehicles to the city of South Bend to do this museum and they also have a series of presidential carriages so that was really interesting We also visited the Oliver Mansion in South Bend, and this house was built by J.D. Oliver, and he owned a plow company. He had invented this very special chilled plow, um, which because of the way the blade was made, the dirt didn't stick to it as much, and he had so much money, he hung out in the circles of the Fords and the Vanderbilts. So, Nice house, a lot of money, and um, this house actually uh, was lived in by the daughter of J.D. Oliver for quite some time, and then it was donated to the History Museum after that. So it's all original furnishings, just as it would have been when the house was built.
the tour guide that we had for the Oliver Mansion actually has a history with the family that lived there. Um, she and her mother actually visited with the servants of the house um, back when she was a child. So she has known this family for almost her entire life and is very familiar with the house. So the tour was absolutely awesome. This little dude, every day, it's the same thing. Get up in the morning, take him for a walk, and then he likes to sit outside. Don't you, bud? And but he hates moving day, and I need to explain it to him. Or maybe not. <laughs> 